Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1214. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1210 to 1214 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got to talk about what happens when you have text criteria for D functions like D max, D counta, D min, D sum, and other database functions. Now, here's a database, field names at the top and records in rows. We have products and sales. So we'd like to use the max because there's there's no max if function for us to look through, find the balance, and find the biggest one. So this is convenient that the D functions are around. So equals D M A X tab. It's got to have a database. That means field names have to be at the top row, records in subsequent rows, comma. The field, that's the field you want to do a calculation upon. Sales, I can either write it in text or I can count 1, 2. I'm going to put a 2. That means please calculate on the second column in the database. And then criteria. Now, criteria is very specific. Unlike count ifs and sum ifs, you have to have a field name and the criteria below. That helps the dmax database function communicate between the criteria area and the database. Right now I'm saying, hey, dmax, look in the product column for Bella, and it goes over to the database and knows which column to look through. Close parentheses. It will find the biggest Bella, which is there's Bellin 295 and Bellin 590. So of course the answer is 590. It's not 590. Yeah, here's what you got to be careful when you're doing text criteria. This D function and all the D functions, when it sees Bellin, it actually does a contain search. It looks through all of the text entries and looks for all the elements that contain the word Bellin. So of course it found Bellin Wind Dancer and then got the max because it was comparing these three records. So how do you deal with that? You actually have to make a text formula. Equal sign, that tells Excel I'm doing a formula. Double quotes because I have to put this in double quotes because it's got to be text. And then you have to put a comparative operator equal sign. So now this is a formula. There's some text when I control enter. Now the dmax function has a comparative operator that tells the dmax find exactly equal to the text bellin. And boom, it does its job. Now I'm going to copy this and paste it down here. Equals D counta is another example of a database function. The database, I highlight all the way down, comma. The field, this time I'm looking through products, so I'm going to select that, comma, and criteria, field name, and exact equals to criteria for text, control enter, and it counts one, two. Now, why would you ever use D counta here in this situation? Well, you wouldn't in this situation. You just use the count ifs highlight the criteria range, comma, and criteria. Well, count ifs has no problem. It, it's going to find exactly equal to Bellin. It finds two. Now, D counta, you might, if you have complex criteria, then you have a whole series of fields and criteria, then you might want to use D counta. And in that case, if you have text, be sure and use the equal sign. But for some situations where D max, there's no max if function, boy, it's nice to know exactly how to find exactly Bellin with a text formula, comparative operator, and text criteria together. All right, we'll see you next video.